Our next email comes in from Harun K, who says, I noticed that Tesla cars with autopilot, partial self-driving, upload their self-driving data to the cloud, and that is shared with all other Teslas that have autopilot. He says, imagine if there was a way for cars other than Teslas to tap into that data as well and use their own driving assistance tech to perhaps warn drivers about dangerous road or other conditions ahead, maybe prime the car for an impact. He says, could this sort of hive mind technology be adapted for our normal cars? Uh, a lot of things going on here, both technologically and in terms of policy and competition in the auto business. First of all, we have something called DSRC, Digital Short Range Communications. It is set to be proposed formally in the U.S. in 2016 for formal adoption as standard equipment some number of model years after that. That's one piece. That allows cars to do V2V, vehicle to vehicle. They can talk to each other and say, hey, I'm here, or I'm stopping short, so you car behind me should know that, things like that. The bigger picture what you're talking about is more of a cloud technology where cars talk up to the cloud to some sort of master control that shares their wisdom with all other cars. Three things to look at that could get in the way of that pretty credibly. First of all, this idea of auto learning starts with connectivity. You gotta have cars that are connected. Teslas do have connectivity to the cloud, so they can report what they've learned and then it can be shared back down to them as well. Most cars don't have that. It's still pretty rare to find a car with built-in 3G or 4G. I'm not talking about pairing your phone. It's a different thing. It's gotta be really built into the car for robustness, and that's still quite a rare vehicle. The next thing is you've gotta have standards so that one car's learnings can be uploaded and then downloaded to another. One car maker does one thing, another does another thing, and they're not talking the same language, they're not talking into the same cloud servers, they have basically complete siloization. The third thing is even if we answered the connectivity and the standards piece, you've got this one of cooperation or competition. Car makers like to be different than others in as many ways as they can. You're asking for Tesla, to use their data, their proprietary information, to make another competing car company's self-driving tech work better. Tesla does not want to help Mercedes work better. They want Mercedes to die. So this is a very cutthroat competitive industry. BMW, Mercedes, Tesla, Audi, Infiniti, they are not in the business of making each other's cars better. So I really think it's a long shot to say that's gonna happen until and unless Self-driving becomes so much of a commodity, so much of an expected technology that the regulators get in there and say, okay, it's time for us to require this on all cars, require it be common and consistent on all cars, and that starts to lay the ground for a more uh, unanimous system where everybody is talking the same language and perhaps would start sharing some of that data. But to be honest, it's relatively unprecedented. Relatively un